to the Overcomers Bible Study. I'm Lady J. Thank you for tuning in. Now, wherever you are, whether it be your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, your den, your bathroom, <laughs> let's honor God with prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your son Jesus who died on the cross for our sins and who you raised three days later. Father God, we just ask that whatever we learn on tonight, let it be landed on good ground. Let it be receptive to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So hello once again. I am Lady J. And I'm so honored that you decided to learn about the Bible with me. Right now, where you're at, I want you to do me a favor. Well, not even me a favor. I want you to do yourselves a favor. And I want you to tell God thank you. Take a moment and give God some praise. Open up your mouths and just tell God thank you. Tell God he is worthy. Tell him thank you for everything that he has done thus far. God, you are so worthy. We have to learn that we can't just tell God thank you in the good times. We have to learn how to tell God thank you in the bad times. No matter what circumstances, we still have to give him praise and honor and glory because he is just that type of God. He is just that good. So for a second, just tell God thank you. Tell God I love you. You are worthy. And you are so awesome. All right. Now, let's dive in. So, you should have your Bibles, because what? This is Bible study. So, I'm going to give you a short scripture tonight, and um, it's a powerful one. So, if you have your Bibles, go to Psalms 51, verse 10. And it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Mm -hmm. So, if I had to title this Bible study, I would say, what kind of heart do you have? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to ask that question again. What kind of heart do you have? Is it clean or is it dirty? I'm just going to be blunt with it. You know, if we're Christians, as you know, we're claiming to be, you know, our hearts should be pure. Our hearts should be clean. Our hearts should not love conditionally. We should be able to love unconditionally. And why I'm saying that, what I'm saying is um, we shouldn't love for the outer appearance. We should love from in here. Um, that's what God looks at. God looks at our heart. And as human beings, I find that we don't look for the inner. We look at the outer appearance and that's it. And we don't know what we're passing up or who we're passing up or what blessings we're passing up by judging people's outer appearance. Um, the heart is the center of our emotions. It's the center of our body. You know, this, this controls a lot. And so, being that it controls a lot, we have to watch what we allow to go in it, you know? Um, some stuff is just toxic. I'm just gonna say it. Some people are just toxic. <laughs> it's okay to cut stuff off. I need you to understand that. Say that with me, don't feel guilty. It's okay to cut stuff off. It's okay to cut people off that are gonna be toxic to your heart. I'm not saying don't love them. I'm not saying, you know, uh, don't pray for them. But watch what you allow in your heart. Watch what you allow in your heart. If it's going to cause your heart to be hardened and dark, cut it off. You know, cut it off. Um, in order for us to operate the way that I believe that God wants us to, we have to be able to release. Let me tell you something. You're going to release whatever, what, like the old people say, what is, what's in you is going to come out of you. So if your heart is hard and if it's dark, guess what? That spirit is going to come out of you. Now, if your heart is clean and it's pure, that spirit is going to come out of you. You know? So you can't just allow anything in it. So on a daily basis, I want you to sit up here and know that you have to ask God, I do. On a sometimes an hourly basis, Lord, crucify self, crucify my flesh, God, you know, clean my heart, God. Don't let me be so envious. Don't let me look at my sister or brother and get envious of what they have. It's just not my time yet. You know, we have to start help having uh, being held accountable for our own actions. We have to start looking at what's wrong with us. That's how you clean your heart. Start cleaning yourself first. 
ask God to clean you, you know, ask God to clean you and make you whole. Ask him to, you know, work on you. You know, if you have to sit down and make a list, I know it sounds corny, but make a list and have what's good, what's some of the good things that I do, and what's some things that I need to have some improvement on. It's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you always have room for improvement, you know, especially in matters of the heart. So it makes you a better person. I think that's what we all need to try to be right now. We, try, we need to try to be better people. We need to try to be better Christians. You know, it's so important. It's so important. And the heart controls so much. It can hold so much as well. It can hold a lot of pain. You don't know what someone else is harboring in their heart. They could be harboring unforgiveness, you know? And that's another thing that can make you sick. You know, if you hold unforgiveness, it can cause sickness in your heart, you know? That's why I think it's important constantly to keep asking God to clean my heart, you know? Renew that spirit, the right spirit within me. There's nothing wrong with asking God to make you over again. We all need to ask God that. None of us are perfect. None of us have it all together. But the good thing about God is that he loves us and he knows our heart and he looks at us right here in our heart. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. He is that type of God who would not want to serve a God like him. So on this evening, yes, I know it was a little short Bible study, but it was important and I hope that it was impactful to you. Um, I want you to just ask God when you feel that you're not clean in this area of your heart and you feel some darkness coming in, I want you to ask God to allow the light to flow through your heart. Allow him to give you, you know, a clean spirit. Allow him to clean your heart. Okay? I love you with the love of God. And at this moment, let's pray. Father God, right now, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you for everything that we talked about. God, we ask that you would cleanse, cleanse our heart right now in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that anything that is not of you, we ask that you remove it right now. We ask that you send it to the pits of hell from which it has come, God. Lord, we ask that you fill us with your spirit, God, your spirit of love and not hate. God, we ask that you cover us with your precious blood right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we bind the spirit of fear. For you do not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind, God. And God, we just give your name glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, on tonight, I want to tell you that I wish favor on you, your family, your children, and your children's children. Welcome, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Overcomers Bible Study. God bless.